Hello, gentle viewers. I have a confession to make. I have been a bad person. I have been a bad reader. I promised <laughs> to do the readathon this month and finish 12 books from uh, the AWL which is readathon. Link down below. But after I finished the first book, The Emperor's Soul, I started reading Crazy Rich Asians. In my defense, it was actually upvoted a while ago, and I was just like, oh, let me pick it up because I saw the trailer. And I can't put it down. It's so addicting. It's one of the most addicting book series. I found out there's three of these, thank God, I've ever read. I have already read the second one and am halfway through the third one and I am addicted and I know that I'm not going to get to any of my other books on my TBR until I finish these books. So I need to finish these books as soon as possible. Because of that, I decided to do a quick Crazy Rich Asians review. This is one of the funniest books I've ever, ever read. It reminds me of Gossip Girl and... I don't know, it's like Gossip Girl in Singapore. There is a lot of drama and there is a lot of rich people who don't know what they're... They, they have so much money they don't know what to do with it. And it's honestly one of the most entertaining things I've ever read. I'm usually a sci-fi fantasy guy. This is definitely not a book that I usually <laughs> pick up. This is way outside my comfort zone, but I've become addicted. It's... it's good. The book is supposed to follow a New Yorker called Rachel Chu who agrees to go to the summer and meet her boyfriend's parents. What she doesn't know is that her boyfriend is basically the heir of the biggest fortune in Singapore and she gets there and everybody treats her like badness. They treat her bad and they think she's a gold digger and there's a bunch of rich people doing rich people things with a lot of money and everybody judges everybody and it's just really good, honestly. It's so hard to even judge this book. Um, I know a lot of, if, if you don't like super descriptive stuff, this might not be for you, but I like it. Like throughout the book series, Kevin Kwan gets really descriptive about the scenes and what's going on and what goes into each scene. And that's because he lived some of this. And then he also does a couple funny an anecdotes in there. It's, it's completely hilarious. If you want to read it, I would also recommend. It. I would also re recommend listening to it because it just brings more, it just brings more life to the characters. I love this book. The only possible drawback I would say about it is that I actually really didn't love the main character Rachel Chu, and was so glad the author gives us other characters and other points of view because uh, Rachel Chu she gets a majority of it, but not enough to I even not enough for me to think that she's the focal point in the books. And whenever she's talking, I'm like, really, Rachel? Really, Rachel? So, I like everybody else's point of view. Um, so if you're into stuff like Gossip Girl and really rich people not knowing what to do with their money, pick this book up. It's like rich people, secret societies, and Gossip Girl. That's what it is. Yeah. Loved it. If you, want to, if you want to see a more in-depth review of the Crazy Rich Asians books, or if you want to see a review of the series, please let me know. I would be very happy to do it. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I have fallen back on my TBR and need to finish these books, and I wanted to share this with the world. Can't wait for the movie. Goodbye, gentle viewers.